Welcome to our home. Thank you. My name's Char Snyder, and this is my husband, Leland Snyder, and this is my therapy dog, Poppy. And happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I'm Lee Snyder, uh, the, the husband of Char for 49 years, and, uh, <laughs> and it's been a good life. Well, uh, I was told three months ago that I have uh, chronic kidney failure, and I'm one point from really needing a kidney. Uh, my GFR is 16, and this has been going on for eight years, and nobody told me until three months ago. So we have been very stressed out in trying to get everything done so that we can have a kidney transplant. This stack of work right here, I don't know if you can see it, is three months of stress <laughs> right here. <laughs> it's all my lab works, uh, going to Anschutz, uh, which is in Denver, there are wonderful um, University of Colorado Hospital, known for kidney disease, helping transplants, uh, just a fabulous place. I've been through all their tests and now I'm waiting for uh, hopefully a donor so that I can have this transplant when, when I'm healthy. I'm absolutely healthy except for my kidney. It's the only thing that is holding me back from having a wonderful life with my husband. And we have been very stressful, so I'd like to say that. What have you discovered through this journey thus far? Uh, <laughs> I don't, I, just kidney, all about the kidney. I never knew anything about a kidney. And now we consider ourselves a little bit more knowledgeable. We've dug into a lot of information, talked to a lot of people that have kidney disease or are waiting for a kidney donor. Uh, we know that everybody has two kidneys, almost everybody, and that they can do with one. We have friends that have one kidney, and uh, so donors are uh, highly desirable, people that are healthy, that have two kidneys. I also learned that there were, I didn't do anything wrong, you know, to develop this kidney disease. I'm not an alcoholic, I don't smoke, and uh, uh, I don't take drugs, not even marijuana, which is legal in <laughs> Colorado. I've asked every doctor I've run into in the last three months if I should take marijuana, and they say no. <laughs> so anyway, um, they don't know what caused this kidney failure, and it happened so suddenly. Over the last eight years, it's been progressively worse, and the last two years, it was really bad. <laughs> And perhaps ibuprofen is the only thing I can pinpoint. And just a mild ibuprofen every day or every other day to kind of help with arthritis or anything that, you know, any aches or pains. So uh, that I've learned. I've learned that my husband loves me <laughs> deeply. <laughs> and uh, this is all because of him. I'm doing this <laughs> and me. And our 50th wedding anniversary is coming up April 30th, and I want to have this finished by then. That's my goal. So what are the results you're hoping for? Well, uh, first of all, kidney awareness. Um, we both feel that uh, I've had uh, blood tests and, you know, uh, I've gone to a doctor every single year or every, every six months. I've had all the tests that are required, and the thing is they missed this uh, GFR going down, down, down. The doctors missed it, and so it's really up to the individual to focus in on the lab results that they get each six months. I never even paid much attention, you know, they get it, and they say you're fine, you're healthy, you're going to live to be 95. I'm 72 now, and you know, this was my goal, 95, and I'm having such a good time with my husband in retirement. So that's what I'm working towards. Well, uh, I like to reiterate something, mention something here, is that it's our responsibility uh, to, uh, to follow our, our health, healthfulness of our kidneys, and uh, everybody. And uh, the physicians, whether they over, didn't see something or not, 
Uh, you should know what your blood pressure, you know what your blood pressure is, you should know the status of your kidneys. And anything under a GFR of 60 suggests that you have some form of kidney disease. Not serious, but you need to be aware of it. And you need to know if your children have this, you know if your parents have it, your spouse has it. You, it's just a common uh, responsibility of health care. And uh, I wasn't aware of any of this. Uh, uh, most people, I don't think most people would. They'll know what their GFR is. They may know what their cholesterol is. They have no idea what their kidney function is. And when a kidney function is, a GFR is 30, it means your kidneys are functioning at 30% of capacity. And uh, that's really important to know that. Um, I... Uh, uh, I, I, I think that's really all I have to say. It's your responsibility not to, to check the lab results. If you're, out of, if you're out of the range, you should know it. If your physician doesn't bring it to your attention, you've got to bring it to his attention. And uh, you take care of your, your, your friends and know your function of your kidneys. And uh, I mean, I think, we think that Char only had one kidney the whole time. She had one kidney that wasn't functioning for years. We don't know that. And then she has the other kidney that didn't do well at all, and it just plummeted. Everything plummeted. But that may be true with a lot of people. So uh, there are 27 million people in the United States that have some form of kidney disease. And how many people have kidney disease and don't even know it? So it's something that we need to be more aware of, I think. You don't want surprises like this. Normally, I would have eight years. If this had been, if I had noticed this or brought, if I had brought it to my own attention, eight years to work on getting a donor and having a new kidney in my body, and I'd be done with it. Okay? And this is what we want other people to realize for themselves. That's the first thing. The second thing is, uh, we, we have three months instead of eight years, and we've worked on this. We've gone to Western, I can't, can I say Western Nephrology uh, in Louisville. Uh, I have a help there with a, a kidney doctor, and also Anschutz at, in Denver. Uh, the University of Colorado is very well known for their kidney program, and we've gone through their entire kidney program with all the doctor tests and whatnot, um, and then the the way that they we learned if we get a donor, the way they uh, what do you say qualify the qualify donor. the donor is extremely uh, careful. The donor is <laughs> it takes priority. They have a hundred percent success with uh, their donors because the donors. Uh, are also screened and uh, checked for their health and um, they it only lasts one day the operation and they're out of there and they will be followed up for two years with free health care at the University of Colorado including cancer and I think that's really wonderful. Lee, uh, what do you do to stay busy? Well that's a really good question. Uh, we had a lot of things planned, and uh, that's all. This was kind of a game changer when we find out early November and uh, the, the the handling the stress of doing everything you can to make sure your wife can handle this critical situation is a little bit over the top. So uh, it really is 24/7 dealing with this. So what do you do? Well, I I read books, I exercise. I try to get outside and play tennis, golf, a, little, a lot of snow here recently, but now that's starting to open up. And I try to get physical exercise, and we follow CU sports pretty closely. These are things that keep me off my, my mind of, of dealing with this situation. And I have to realize, through help from friends, that although critical uh, uh, chronic kidney disease is, is not is terrible, there are other people who got worse problems. There are people with, you know, cancer issues. There are people with ALS. There are people that have much worse problems. So although this is terrible, it's other people have issues as well. 
And that kind of, you live, you can control the things you can control and there's things you can't control, you have to roll with it. And uh, that's been, that's not the way we had our lives planned. We had everything pretty well organized. And when that thing fell apart, I have to deal with that. And <laughs> time is going to tell how well I'm doing with it. So that's what, that's an issue.